Good morning all, CamelbackTrading.org coming to you this Friday morning, September 30th. We are looking at Window Trader's market profile of the ES and SPY. So right off the bat, last day of the quarter, third quarter, last day of the month, um, right now SPY is down approximately $13, $14 again for the quarter. It's been a really poor year, obviously, for the markets. Um, we are in this tremendous, tremendous battle going on, on two fronts. One is on a five-month uh, balance that we've stretched now twice and the other is on a five-day balance on the daily the weekly is firmly down um, I believe when we get some resolution of these balances we should get a pretty significant move um, we've done over 100 million shares basically the last five days inside of this balance now granted the ranges have been good but remember, it's still inside of a balance. So when we come out of this, I would expect the ranges to be even better and the volume to be better um, as we end the third quarter and begin the fourth. I'm doing this video early because I'm in South Carolina and we have uh, Hurricane Ian right now that is uh, starting to intensify. I think the worst of it should be around noon. I'm hoping to be on the mic, hoping to trade today, but I'm going to be very careful doing that because um, I'm not sure if power is going to hold out um, throughout the day, let alone before the opening. Pre-market high in SPY is 366.75. The overnight low is 362.72. Right now, ES is overnight high 93.75. The low is 40.25, and they have a 15-wide point of control overnight at 58.75. Again, I will be attempting to do videos after the market closes and recapping all three of these indices as we head into the fourth quarter and give pretty much a broad outlook of what we can expect or possibly expect over the last three months of the trading year. As far as today goes, well, right now, again, it's early. It's only um, we have just under two hours prior to the opening. But right now we are in balance in value. So until we come out of this balance on both the monthly and the daily expect some massive chop with some pretty vicious moves that both the short-term algorithms high frequency traders and retail traders can do we know the market is still very very short on basically all three time frames so you keep thinking maybe we can get a vicious short squeeze but so far on every push up they've there's been no follow-through and we've not only come back to the balance lows we've now ex uh, extended it a bit again as we made new yearly lows yesterday so again um, at some point this should be pretty interesting when we come out of it we still have the gap from the other day so here's our balance on the profile one two three four five this will be day six to start we still have the gap above us so since we really push down from the fed day right even though sellers have been cut off at new yearly lows Buyers haven't really gotten anything back yet. We still have the price probe from the 21st that we haven't even gotten anywhere near. So it's going to be interesting which way we come out of this. So, again, as far as the game plan this morning, you're going to be, there's not much, if we open in this balance in value, there's not much you expect made to chop. I would obviously trade it this 15 wide pock. Again, are they going to defend the balance low again? I'm not saying you can't take a long down there, but it's just like poking a membrane, membrane or the chicken pecking you to death. At some point, at some point, uh, it's going to win. You don't like to keep tr uh, testing these levels down here because at some point they might go through. So if you do take a long against that balance low on the monthly and daily, please, please, please have a stop below if we start getting tempo and acceleration, especially if we get a gap lower today and or a trend day down. As far as long, again, if you take out yesterday's high, nothing's changed. We're just in balance. Nothing has changed. Will we go test the top of the balance? That's very possible. And if that's the case, then you're going to have balance rules on the daily, not on the monthly. That would be a daily um, balance high. So we'll see if they defend that. You can take a short against it, but again, you'll have higher value or overlapping higher value at that point. So I would have a stop somewhere. If you want to take the short and hold on to it to the gap fill to see if that's all they want to do, that's fine. It's still about a little over a dollar worth of gap if you want to take that kind of heat. But if they fill the gap and don't pull back, well, then again, you can get some massive short covering. All early plays 
You can get up to the minute updates at camelbacktrading.org's trading day while we live stream the profile. Again, I want to thank all of you for your likes and subscribing to this channel. And then quickly on the chart, because again, we'll recap everything tonight. Here's your five month balance. We continue to stretch it. At some point, you, you, the buyers are test, bulls are testing fate if we keep making lower lows. Here's your next big level, which is around the 320, 325 level. And on the weekly, firmly down. And the daily, again, five day balance trying to be resolved. Good luck trading today. Have a great day. And we'll recap the day and the week at 4 p.m.